Hello guys, welcome back to Outdoors with Mike. In today's video, uh, how to fillet my fish and store in the freezer. We got uh, nine walleye here, and uh, two white fish and one huge jack. April's gonna cook some jack fish. It's kind of frozen, but we could take some meat off the top for her, and then the rest will thaw out. We'll continue with the jack as it thaws out. And a shout out to Dustin Shambo and Buddy Shambo and Harvey Shambo and uh, Samson Chelifo for bringing me these fish. They went out to our local lake, Bisho Lake, um, and they got me these fish. They dropped fish off for me. Thank you guys. Uh, we'll get started with the video. We'll wash it in the sink and then we'll cut it on the cardboard. Then we'll put it in Ziploc bags and put it in the fridge. Okay, come on. All right, guys, can you see me? I got the camera on the fish. Um, we're gonna fillet it. I washed it in the sink and we'll get started. All right. Okay, if you can see the fish. All right, we're gonna cut the, right here, right behind the gill, still frozen a little bit. It's nice when it's frozen a little bit. We'll cut it right there. Then we'll do the same on this side, behind the gills. Behind the gills and straight to that part. Then from there we'll go from here, right along these spikes. We'll go along there. It's nice half frozen. It stays together. And then we'll go to the other side. Same thing, all the way to the tail. All right. And then we'll we'll go down to the backbone. Out, oops. And right from between, before his gills here, you'll push it right through. And then you, you run it down along the edge, right to the bottom. And you, yeah, watch your hand on the, you get it right along in there, folks. Yeah, right there. Okay, see how that's frozen? It's best when you freeze it and you thaw it out half frozen. We'll keep that on there so we'll keep our fish level. And then we'll start on this side. Same thing on this side to the backbone. Look at that, how frozen it is. Oh, sorry about the GoPro. And then over here the same. We'll go from here to the bottom half of the tail and go to there. All right, then you work your along this bone. Sorry. Yep. Right there, guys. We go down to the half part. Right there, you got your first fillet, folks. Right there. Then uh, to fillet this, you cut it down a little bit, and you run your. You run it down along here. You just run it all the way down. Okay. 
right there, folks. We'll get this rest of this meat. There's your filet, boneless filet. Nice. Yeah, we'll continue like that. And we'll do this side, same way. Yeah. You could feel those bones when you're in and down. Oh. We'll get this one here too. My cardboard's not level. Right there, folks. Got another one. Messed up on this one a little. But yeah, that's how you're supposed to have your filet right there. The and uh, the the tail has no bones. I always go for the tail first. Yeah. There's our filet. Right there, folks. Well, and uh, one more thing. Um, the delic del delicacy, the cheeks. You go around like this, poke it all the way down. Like this here. Then you peel back the cheeks. And you cut it like that, then you you peel it off the skin. There's the skin, see? There's the cheeks. This is the very delicious. We'll get the other side. Yep. The boys want to bistro, got some fish. Wolf. Have a fish fry. Oh right there, look. Another one folks. Yep. And this here. It never can go to waste. You, you butcher. Uh, you cut it up. You got it, and you cut it up, and you cook it in soup. You have a soup broth. This, folks, our filet and our cheeks, right there. All right. We'll get. Um, we'll continue with the fish we got, and we're gonna cut it like this and bag it. All right, folks. I filleted some fish. Uh, got this big jack left to do it. That one has to thaw out more, probably overnight. We'll do that tomorrow. And I uh, got four while I left. And I got it the uh, white fish and got that in the freezer downstairs. Um, we'll cut another one here. You can watch me uh, when I cut one more while I'm here. Let's go over to the table, guys. All right, guys, we're at the table. I washed my fish at the uh, sink. Cut behind the gills. Cut it behind here all the way to the tail and then uh, you cut where his um, discharge is then you cut all the way down press down to the bone and then you work it down you could hear bones and you work bring it down a little keep that on Come on this side, same thing on this side, you go along here, yeah, and then you'll, you'll go to the discharge hole, and then work your thing down, push down, all the way down, yeah, then you'll work, this will keep your, this side, other side will keep your fish level, go down, the backbone, 
Kind of good one is half frozen. Meat's not so floppy. You hear the bone. Yeah. You need a sharp knife, yeah? No, it's good, this one. I it's know, working good. I mean, it's it's sharp. Yeah. Oh, you need a sharp knife, yeah. Right there, guys. Then you cut it long here. Then you get the cheeks. It's a delicacy. Poke down and around. And this side too. Show us. Yeah. Then you skin it back. Then you cut it a little bit, a slot. And you push it down. Cool. There's one. And this side, same thing guys. Against the, the ribs, you hear the ribs? Yeah. There. You can cut out here. Yeah, there's uh, two, two sides. And we'll cut that. We Get a cutting board so your fish stay flat. And we'll cut half here, line. We'll start here. We'll go on the edge of our board. And then we'll fillet down like this, guys. Right there, you got one fillet, uh, boneless fillet. And you work on the other side, guys. Have this side knife going down. There, there's another bonus fillet. Yeah, we'll set that aside. We'll come along with the other one. Slice down this way. Cut it a little bit. Hold it. And you can work your way down. There's another fillet. And you come along this side, guys. Try your best to get this part a little more difficult than the than the tail. There we go. Another flay. Four flays. You get your batter from the store or you use flour. You batter it and get your oil hot. You you cook in the oven. I mean in the in the frying pan just like deep fry. Flour and seasoning salt. Yeah, flour and seasoning salt. Always seasoned salt. Good reminder. Okay, we'll continue on with the fish. Okay, guys, we got all the 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 two white fish um, cut up. We got it. Uh, we got it and cut the head off, and we package it. We package uh, the white fish like this. I put the two white fish in the fridge, and uh, and I got the. Uh, if you don't have access to um, bags like this, you can use uh, old uh, grocery bags. They work good too. You can put your fish in there. You, uh, you could when you you can uh, you can uh, put onions, whatever you want, in there, and put it, put onions and uh, peppers, whatever you could put in there, and you put this like that. You put tin foil and you put it in the oven like that. Butter and butter. And uh, and um, yeah, you could have that. will put it in the oven like that. You could use bags if you don't have access to these bags. You could just go like this, and then tie it up. But we recommend the glass because Oh, everything works good, I think. Um, you could just put it in the fridge like that when you want to eat it. And here's the one I fillet. Fillet here, see. Come close to you. I showed you on the video. You could you um fillet. It. You could you could store it like this also. And this is a faster me method for me. So I put it as one meal like that. This one here for a frying pan. You can uh, you can um, cut it like this for a frying pan. And get it ready. Your tails, and then this one, 
and this will be for frying pan you could store like freeze your fish like that and when it thaws out you can uh, cook your fish like that too and we'll throw it in the fridge too yeah and these ones you if you can give it away like that boom one Fish is really good for iron. Iron, yeah. Fish is very good for you. Healthy. Healthy, yeah. Doctor's orders. Right there, see? Folks. We washed our fish. Alright, there we go, folks. Here we go, look. There, how we uh, fillet and store our fish. Hope this video is educational for you. Please subscribe to Outdoors with Mike and encourage us to film more and helps the channel out. Hit that subscribe button and the icon bell button. Thank you, have a good day. This is too late road, yeah. This is where Dot went to for a long time ago. We're back folks, outdoors with Mike, this is his nephew, Dustin Samu, again get the lake that way, there's a net, we warmed up, got our nephew, Buddy Shamu on location, Tyrell, Samson, Samu, Here's that, hold it. 